Hi, my name is Martin. This is Not Enough Tech. I'm here to get some bread. And where is here? Here is my local Tesco. And uh, bread is one of the reasons I'm here. The second reason is uh, this. You probably know these. These are pretty useless, especially if you're here. Because I'm already here. I know what opening towers are and I don't need the reviews. So uh, yeah, these are useless. Do you know what else is useless? this I don't need this anymore and because what I'm going to do I'm going to use one of these and turn them in this let's get started I'm going to pretend that I'm in a different locations using auto location mock location for the convenience of this recording so first of all I'm gonna pretend I'm in Tesco so in the Tesco um, notification is up I will generate um, automatically the barcode for Tesco. And as you can see, you've got two options. I can switch the barcodes to the newer type, which is QR barcode, or I can uh, go back to the regular one and also I can copy the, my customer number associated with this barcode. Another scenario is when I'm going to the shopping center. So let's pretend I'm in a shopping center with multiple shops. I'll get the um, notification from Google app saying that in, I'm in a shopping center and you'll see bubble, auto a bubble, that's a new feature and it'll open the dialog on which I can just choose which uh, reward card I want to use. So obviously when I click on it, it will display the card of my choice. So if I click on the uh, card, for example, Morrison's, I get Morrison card. So yeah, that's uh, that's from uh, triggered from the bubble which appears on your screen when you're in the shopping center. Lastly, it's a manual method. It's uh, clicking on the auto uh, on the tile from auto notification, and it'll bring the same um, auto tools dialog uh, from which you can trigger all the uh, reward cards. So I think you'll agree with me that this is a much smarter way to kind of store your reward points or loyalty card inside your phone. And uh, obviously you can achieve all of that with Tasker. I'm currently working on the tutorial itself, so uh, that should be up soon. So consider subscribing or following me on social media and obviously you're gonna see a notification straight away uh, once the tutorial and files are ready to download. All right, that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hey, my name is Matt and this is not enough. Brett.